Quickly, this is a paid segment from skinswap.com. Log into skinswap today to be able to easily trade, buy, and most importantly for us, sell skins. Skinswap even supports PayPal, so it's quite accessible for everyone. Don't forget to use my affiliate code, Omighty, to help me out. And also claim your free item at the top right of the website screen too. What's going on guys, I'm Matty back again with the Weekly Rust Skins videos. And as we can see, it's a complete the sets week. And I checked these this morning on my phone and I was very surprised. The legendary face mask, uh, the legendary bloody chest plate, sorry, is in the game. That's actually crazy. Did not think I'd ever see this skin accepted in the game. So anyhow, this is what the top sellers is looking like. Let's have a look at the limited store and we will get started with the clothing and armor. So let's have a look at the JPEG stuff first. We have the JPEG chest plate and metal face mask. Finally out, we have the, uh, it's called the chest plate, JPEG chest plate and the JPEG face mask. So, I mean, I uh, don't really like when it doesn't say metal face mask and metal chest plate, but is what it is. It does make it a little bit harder to find in the community market. Um, overall, I actually really like the JPEG set, um, but I don't think it's really performed that well. Of course, the stuff, the JPEG stuff clothing, to be very specific, um, that has already come out will have gone up in price now because of the fact that we've got the Metal Gear coming out. Um, judging by these screenshots though, we don't have Road Sign gear in yet. I think, do we? I, yeah, I think we do actually. I'm pretty sure we do have Road Sign in. Pretty sure we've got the Copy Can helmet in the um, chest plate. And um, which means that is the set complete because we've already got the kilts as well. So might be waiting for some boots and gloves, but um, look, at the end of the day, this is pretty much the whole set. So if we do get the boots and gloves, then, you know, cool, whatever. Um, overall, though, the JPEG face mask and chest plate are above standard store price, going for $2.85 instead of the standard $1.35. So that is a shame, going to make it harder to invest in. Overall, though, if you pick these up as a play skin by Christmas time, I think you can make money off of them. But overall, I don't think they're going to be an incredible investment. They don't really think you're going to be making that much money off of them. So $2.95, I'd recommend getting them off of the community market with a buy order um, rather than buying them off of the rest of them store if you're planning on investing in them. All right, moving over to the legendary chest plate. So let's just keep in mind this skin has probably been made 20 years ago because I bought the uh, legendary golden face mask when it was um, on the Rust Adam store for like five bucks and now it's like almost $200. So yeah, um, not gonna get any more of these uh, skins accepted in the game anytime soon, I don't think, but pretty pretty cool screenshots by the skin creator in the Rust Adam store. You guys can check that out for yourself, but $5.65 is what this chest plate is going for. Um, this will increase the metal face mask demand slightly, but at the same time, the skin's already so expensive that not that many people are really going to be buying it. Of course, it is quite an expensive skin, so it's going to be harder for the everyday person to buy. Um, overall, that does mean that the chest plate probably won't really have that high of a demand once it leaves the rest of them store and goes to the community market. $5.65 is actually where... I pretty much see this thing sitting at on the community market. So, I mean, overall, I think you could probably get it for cheaper with a community market buy order. Um, I don't think the demand for this is really going to be that high because most people aren't going to have the metal face mask to pair with it. Um, and to be honest, like the straps just look a little bit weird in my opinion as well. So the actual metal chest plate itself and the back of the chest plate, they both look nice, but the straps just look a little bit ugly in my opinion. $5.65. Overall, I'm not going to recommend investing this one off the Rustam store for this week. I do think you can get it for cheaper on the community market with a buy order. Moving over to the Phantom boots. So we haven't had the Phantom skins in, um, especially clothing and armor. We haven't had them in in ages. Can't even remember what the last Phantom stuff was, whether it was the metal or the um, road sign. But we also have had the... Um, had the gloves, the uh, road sign gloves. And overall, it's just a really nice looking kit, but it just doesn't really seem to have that much demand. And also I think that's because you can't pair it that easily with other things. Oh, that's right, yeah. I remember when the clothing came out because it's not that nice looking and there was a nicer version of it. Um, the version one was better in my opinion. So anyway, um, the Phantom boots, yeah, they're gonna be a little bit harder to pair with other Clothing and armor, so $2.95 is what they're going for. Also above Sinistral price for clothing and armor. Um, let's just check. I think everything's pretty much, yeah, everything's above Sinistral price today. Um, 
except for one thing which we'll talk about in a second. Phantom Boots, overall, honestly, I don't think they're really going to go that much above this price. Got to keep them on the Steam tax. So, like, if you're selling them for, like, $3, $3.20, you're not really going to make that much money or any money, um, depending on which one you're selling them for. So, I think you can actually get these off the community market, the buy order as well. I don't think they're going to have a crazy high demand, but overall, not bad looking boots. And I do think that they're going to sit around their price that they're currently at on the Russell store, which is $2.95. And um, I do think they'll go slightly above that, but as I said, you have to keep in mind the steam tax, so you're not really going to make that much money selling them. Moving over to the final clothing and armor, we have the Renegade Kilt going for $1.40. Overall, in my opinion, the Renegade set was fugly. Um, and yeah, it was just an ugly set. I don't think the Renegade Kilt is going to have any demand, and I'm honestly surprised that it got accepted, but at the same time, I'm surprised that it... Do we get the road sign or do we not get the road sign? I don't even remember. Pretty forgettable. Um, yeah, not going to recommend investing in the Renegade Kilt. I don't think it's going to have any demand once all these Russell Storm goes to the community market. At the same time, I do think that this is one of those skins in the future that could get manipulated because I think it's going to have a quite a low quantity, um, especially for a dollar and forty cents. Like it could be a cheap, easy buy, but at the same time, I'm not going to recommend investing in off the Russell Store for this week. Um, let's have a look, just quick scan, make sure I'm not missing any clothing and armor. It appears that I'm not. So. We will now move over to the weapons, and we have the Azul L96. Of course, the Azul was a very popular um, skin collection, uh, like midway through me making these skin videos, and this Azul L96 has now been added to the game. So we haven't had them for quite a while. Overall, pretty cool looking set. Um, pretty basic these days, but $2.85 is what this Azul L96 is going for. And overall, I think that's actually a pretty justifiable price. So. Um, personally, I'm not going to pick it up. And also, you have to keep in mind, you can't craft L96s. You can only get them from, from um, uh, like, special crates and stuff like that, locked crates. So, the demand's not going to be that high and also airdrops. So, the demand's not going to be that high and um, it's just, I don't know, there's better L96 skins, to be completely honest. So, overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Azul L96 because once it leaves Russell I'm store and goes to the community market, it's not really going to have any demand, in my opinion. All right, moving over to the Cold Hunter M249. This bad boy is going for above sale store price of nine, uh, four dollars and ninety-five cents. Um, but look, quite frankly, every Cold Hunter skin has been absolutely skits. They all look awesome. Um, they're like the Black Eye skins from Siege, and they always make you money. The M249, on the other hand, is already five dollars, um, and not many people really get the M2 because, of course, you can only get it from like Bradley and um, taking heli. So um, it's not gonna have very high demand, but look, overall it's a pretty pretty cool looking skin. And even though it's not gonna have high demand, $4.95, nice looking M2 skin. Um, by Christmas time, I actually still think you're gonna be making money off of the Cold Hunter M249, simply because all of the Cold Hunter stuff always goes up before Christmas. And, um, of course, skins are going to go up after Christmas as well. So, $4.95. Uh, I would recommend investing in the Cold Hunter M249, but it's not going to make you a crazy amount of money. All right, moving over to the Cybercode Thompson, going for $2.85 as well. Um, yeah, look, overall, we've already had a bunch of Cybercode stuff, and they haven't performed well. I think it's going to continue with the Cybercode Thompson, to be completely honest. I think it's actually a cool-looking skin, a little cheeky Matrix-looking skin. Um, the ADS looks nice as well with the skull, but it's it's not colourful enough for the Rust audience to um, be frothing over and make this skin worth $28,000. So, overall, I don't think the Cybercode Tommy is going to have... Um, too much demand once it leaves the Russell M store and goes to the community market. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in that bad boy off the Russell M store for this week. Okay, moving over to the El Diablo sword. Going for $2.85, of course, this is the continuation of the El Diablo set. We've had a Thompson. We might not have had a Thompson. We've had a bloody... I think we've had an SAR. We've had a DB. We've had a Python. I don't know. Anyway, it's a fugly set in my opinion. I'm not in love with it, but in saying that, this is a sick looking sword skin. I don't know if it glows in the dark. If it does glow in the dark, I won't recommend investing in it because I consider them pay to lose. If it doesn't glow in the dark, um, quite frankly, I'm not going to recommend investing in it anyway. $2.85 cents is still price for weapons and tools, but um, overall, yeah, oh, this is a sick skin. I don't know. 
it's not going to have any demand because it's a sword, but at the same time, it's actually probably one of the best looking sword skins we have. Skin creator, El Diablo, I don't really like your set, but this is the best skin um, you've made in the set. It's actually sick. Good work. $2.85. As a play skin, I think if you pick this one up, I don't think you'll be losing money if you get sick of it and you want to sell it. Um, if you want to just buy like one as an investment, then I actually think you can make money off of this, like come Christmas time, of course, after that as well. Um, so as a long-term investment, I think the El Diablo sword can make you money. At this point, it's probably like a medium-term investment. Actually, it's August. Um, so overall, I will recommend investing in it, but it's not going to be a short-term investment, and it's actually a sick-looking sword. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick that up as a play skin, I think you can make money off of it in the future. Moving over to the Frog Club, coming for $2.95. This is, of course, a Bone Club skin. Um, I actually really like the Bone Club because you can harvest like wood from hitting trees and uh, um, ores by hitting the nodes with a bone a bone club instead of using a rock. Um, and this is a bit of a cheeky little little goofball meme skin. So the frog club is actually pretty cool. Um, reminds me of like that little happy friend, but it isn't $32 or how much that's going for these days. Overall, I actually do like the frog club. I think it can probably make, make you a little bit of money but I do think you could probably um, pick this up off of the community market with a buy order instead because I do think this will be a long-term investment. Cool skin, but definitely not going to have very much demand. Um, all right, moving over to the final tool of the week, we have the Toy Jackhammer. Toy set was very successful. We don't get Jackhammer skins very often, and this is going for the standard store price of $2.85. So we're looking good in all departments right now. Of course, the Jackhammer is like the meta weapon slash melee tool in my opinion. So look, overall, I will recommend investing in this because the toy hammer, uh, the toy set is quite popular, um, even though it's old now, so it's less popular. But I do think that either way, the toy Jackie can make you money. Um, quite a nice looking jackhammer skin. So overall, I will recommend investing in that. Pretty cool skin. All right, moving over to the deployables, we have the bombing armored door going for two dollars and eighty-five cents. This is a sick looking armored door skin. I actually really like the eyes on the skulls. Um, yeah, look, this is actually a sick skin. This is the best bombing skin so far in my opinion. The bombing set itself hasn't performed that well. Flashbacks to the bombing kill, I know, Joe Eady. Um, anyhow, $2.85 as well. There's just something about that bombing set that like, imagine if all of that graffiti would glow in the dark. That would be absolutely skit. I think it's a really unfortunate missed opportunity that it doesn't. Um, and I do think that this would make a lot more money, but look, quite frankly, it doesn't. $2.85 though, the fact that it's standard store price, we don't get armored doors that often. Um, this is gonna be the first like deployable in a long time that hasn't glowed in the dark that I'll actually recommend investing in because I actually think the bombing armored door looks sick and I think it will make you money. Um, as a long-term investment. So $2.85, I will recommend investing the Bombing Armored Door off of the Rustom store for this week. Pretty cool looking skin. All right, moving over to the Constellation Small Box. Going for $2.85, I swear we've got like a trillion more skins than usual because we're going for a while here. Um, we have, of course, had some Constellation stuff. I'm pretty sure it's just been, a, if I remember correctly, a door and a large box. And now we've got the Small Box. So we don't really get Small Boxes that often, but um, we do have quite a few glowing small boxes these days. In fact, I'm pretty sure like every small box that's come out over like the last the uh, the last year, besides the twig one, have been glowing. Um, but this is interesting because usually the standard store price for glowing deployables is three dollars thirty five, and this is two dollars and eighty five cents. I only just realized this, but um, that does make it a bit better for investing in, but. Look, overall, I don't think it's actually really going to make you uh, that much money just because I don't think it's going to have a very high demand. I don't think that many people really care about stars, you know, and constellations. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the constellation small box, but I mean, cool skin, good work. Um, all right, moving over to the Fireflies Furnace, going for $2.85. If you're a rat or something and you didn't want to have a base or you decide that you want to have a furnace outside, I don't know, bloody... You could have this one hiding, but there's not really too much point in that. The fact that you can hear it and it glows in the dark. Ah, uh, okay, I remember what this is. 
So we've got the we had the Fireflies uh, sleeping bag, and I remember I said the exact same thing. Like this would be a cool skin, and it would camouflage so well. But the skin creator, I mean, of course, like the theme of it's Fireflies, but the skin creator has decided to put glowing on it, and they are the Fireflies. So I mean, you've got some camouflage stuff that's no longer camouflage because it glows. Overall, the Fireflies Furnace, look, it glows like average, just a few little dots. We have so many um, glowing furnace skins. In fact, most of them glow that, in my opinion, look better. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing the Fireflies Furnace, but like looking at it, it would look cool if you filled the base up with like the um, green kelp or the green camo nets um, all in your base and then chuck some of these firefly furnaces down and then chuck like your firefly sleeping bag down like that would look cool but um overall yeah i'm not going to recommend investing in it i don't think it's going to have any demand cool looking skin but it's a no from me and last but not least we have the wooden door from hell so uh, i feel like this is the third time the wooden door from hell has been accepted or something like that i, I don't know but look overall this is a sick looking skin um it looks darker than i remember i swear we've already had the wooden door from hell and i swear a drizz added me in chat H hello a drizz i know you'd be watching this um yeah look this is a sick skin four dollars and 95 cents very expensive for a wooden door skin though and look wooden door skins don't really last on someone's base for a very long time because of course they're tier one and in fact they're tier zero and they go um they get replaced straight away by sheet metal doors but this is such a sick looking skin it's hard to say because for the people that don't have like that glory hole door, which was a free Twitch drop, um, which is also pay to win, there is other pay to win uh, wooden door skins that have like the peek through like one way um, windows, not one way, but you can't shoot through them. Um, so it does make it harder, but this is such a sick skin. I don't know. It's because the fact that it's like $5, $4.95, it makes it a lot harder, especially because it's a wooden door skin. Overall, with this one, I'd recommend getting it off the community market with a buy order. Um, I do think you can get it for cheaper than $4.95. You have to keep in mind, even if it's selling for $5.50, you're not really going to make any money because of the Steam tax. So already paying $4.95 for a skin, almost 5 bucks, and then you're not really going to be selling it for that much um, afterwards. So after Christmas, I think it could be above $5, but... For now, I reckon you can pick it up for cheaper on the community market with a buy order, um, and then you can go from there. I'll just quickly double check and make sure I haven't missed any skins for this week. I don't think I have. And I think that's going to do it for this week, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and remember, have a skits one.